Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to do my, um, well, I kind of just made this up because, not that I made it up, but I haven't seen anyone do this yet, but this is my top 10 favorite Bath and Body Works, my, my top 10 new favorite Bath and Body Works Christmas smells that came out this year. So I have 10 of them. I rank them in a particular order, so 10 to 1. Um, I love my top 3, oh my god, my top 3 is like the best. I freaking love it. You know what? I'm actually going to switch these two. Not thinking about it. Yeah. I'm going to switch those two. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Lipstick of the Day is right around by Jeffree Star. Um, eyeshadow, I got the Jeffree Star and Jane Dawson Conspiracy Palette on. I've been using that nonstop. Ooh. Girl, this top is a mood. It's a fucking statement. Um, I got my nails done. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay. Now let's get started with the th Okay, well, let me put on some cream. I'm using Vanilla Bean Oil right now, which is not in the top 10 because this is new scents. So you're not going to see Winter Candy Apple, you know, Vanilla... Whatever came out in the past years, you're not going to see. It's only new scents that came out this year. That's it. And I ranked them. That's it. So... Trust me, I would put vanilla bean oil and everything, but um, it's not a new scent, so I can't. Um, all right, let me just rub this in deep, honey. All right, so um, that being said, um, what was the last video I filmed? Oh, I wanted to talk about the newest scent, which is not going to be in this, by the way, and I'll tell you why right now. So the new hot cocoa and mint scent from Bath and Body Works, I did smell it. I was very displeased, very displeased. Um, first of all, it, it doesn't have the cooling sensation on your skin. I was, I was worried about that because, you know, mint's in there, so I thought maybe it would have the cooling effect. It doesn't, so that's one good thing. But other than that, it's just really, what I get, I get no mint. All I get is a chocolatey, chocolatey smell with a very sweet, 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 overpowering actually, sweet marshmallow smell. Like it smells like hot cocoa and cream, just with like way more marshmallow in it than the hot cocoa and cream is. So it doesn't smell like hot cocoa and cream per se, but it has chocolate and marshmallow in it, but the marshmallow is so strong that it actually overcompensates even the chocolate in that, in that smell. It just really just smells like marshmallows. It smells like a big, it doesn't smell like mini marshmallows, it smells like a big fat marshmallow. Like, it just smells like marshmallows. Um, I get chocolate too, but I get no mint. Um, it literally smells more like hot cocoa and cream than hot cocoa cream bonnet, honestly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just not it, sis. It's not it. Um, I'm not into that. It had a really weird odor on my skin. Um, you would think chocolate and marshmallow would still be nice, but it, it wasn't really going well with my body chemistry. I don't know. A lot of people were, like, turned off with it, too. So that's not in this. I did not get anything in that. I'm not going to get anything in that. So that's that. So let's get on to number 10 out of the top 10. So this is my least favorite new smell that came out this year. That's in it, but it's still in the top 10. So I guess it's all right. So it's Bright Lemon Snowdrop Shower Gel. Um, you know, should I read the keynotes? Frosted lemon, citrus, marshmallow, fluff, and vanilla bean. So let's see. Yeah. It's a very lemony, it smells like a lemon. Oh, what's that lemon candy? Is it like a, I don't know if it's a lemon lifesaver. It kind of smells like a lemon lifesaver with like a little hint of cookie, but it's, it's, it's basically just lemon. It's nice, but it's not for the holiday season. I don't know. But I still have it in, in the number 10 spot because it still does smell nice. Number nine. Pink Fairy Gumdrop. By the way, the, the candle sale is coming up very soon. I don't know when, but it's coming up very soon. I'm not getting a damn thing. I'm not getting a damn thing because... The candles are like nine something dollars. They bump. Why are you bumping up the prices if not, nothing's changed in the formulas or anything, or the packaging or nothing? Like nothing has changed. It's still the same old candle that it's always been. So why are you bumping up the price? 
Is it make is it making more money to make this stuff? I mean, it shouldn't be. It's the same stuff that you've been making for years. There's nothing new to it. Very weird. It's very weird. I don't want to run like that. So I'm not going to Candle Day. Although, wait, I might. Because Mary Mistletoe is coming back and that's my favorite candle. It only comes back during Candle Day. So I actually might. Ugh, I just ate my words. But... If I do go, I'm only getting Mary Mistletoe. And if I see, like, this unique, like, crazy smell, like, maybe banana spilt milkshake, if I see it, I'm like, oh, we have quite to buy that. But other than that, it's a wrap. I'm not getting a thing. Okay, so Pink Fairy Gun Drop. So this is Keynotes of uh, Sparkling Sugarberries, Pink Pot, Kind of Candy, Sprinkle Fairy Dust. Now, this is, again, not really Christmas per se or holiday season, but holy shit. It smells like... It, honestly, the first whiff you get is Pepto-Bismol. But after that subsides, you really get, it's weird, because then you get that sweet kind of candy note. Mm, like, if you hold on the sniff, you get the kind of candy and everything. It's really good. You get the candied gumdrop kind of candy smell. It's really nice, really girly, really fruity, really sweet. But, again, not for the holiday season, but it is new, so I have to put it in the top ten. But, yeah, this rolls in number nine. But it is still really slamming, and I will definitely burn this in the spring. Number seven is not a... Oh, by the way, this is all, like, different candles, body care, hand soaps, you know, the drill. It's all, like, different, um, you know, items. It's not just, like, candles or body care. So, number seven is going to be this. This is not technically new, but it's... They renamed it, so I'm gonna say it's new. Crushed Candy Cane. It's basically just like Candy Cane Bliss from last year, but they just died down the sweetness just a tad. But it's basically 99% of the same. So, but I did include it in the new sense of the year because they renamed it. And it does smell a tiny bit different. Like, it's, you can barely tell, but I mean. Mmm, smells so good. And this is Keynotes of uh, Crunchy Peppermint, White Sugar, Christmas, and Frosted Mint Leaf. It just smells like a very sweet, sugary candy cane. That's all it smells like. That's it. There's nothing special to it. There's no special other notes to it. It's just candy cane. And it's really, really nice. Really nice. It's very sweet and refreshing. It's delicious. And the packaging is so damn cute. Okay, now number six, right? It's number six, because then five, four, three, two, no, that was 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. yeah, so that was number, that was eight. Oh, I'm sorry, that was eight, yeah. So 10 was Lemon Snowdrop, nine was the Pink Fairy Gone Drop, eight is Crushed Candy Cane, seven, this is seven. Seven is this one. It's called Land of Sweets Blueberry Sugar. Again, this is not really holiday season related, but as I said, it's new. Well, not new. It's new to me. Okay, so this one is the only one that's part of the top ten that's actually not new. That's really not new at all. This has come out for years, but it's new to me because I've never owned it. I've never had it. And I really do believe they changed the scent a little bit because it smells way more sweeter than it ever did. It smells like a watermelon blueberry bubblegum. I don't even know. It just smells like watermelon bubblegum, bubblicious bubblegum with blueberries in it. It's so good. Again, this isn't Christmas. It's more spring or summer or whatever. But I'll probably burn this in the spring because of the pretty colors. So, I love it. I love it. But again, not really holiday related. Now we're on to number six. Okay, so number six is Christmas cookies. Um, yes. In body care. As I said, this smells like an assortment of Italian. Like, if, you have, if you're if you in an Italian family and you go to the Italian bakery and you, you buy, like, a assortment of Italian Christmas cookies, you know what I'm talking about. It smells like that. Kind of smells a little like spag spaghetti. Not spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. No, it's so good. It does not smell like spaghetti. Uh, what's that cookie called? Spinoli's? Spinoli's? It has, like, like nuts in it. And it's like a... Like a Kind of like a, not vanilla, kind of like a bakery. Like a, I don't know, kind of like a vanilla cookie with like almonds or something. It really smells like a Christmas Italian cookie. It is so good. You really get the almonds. I don't have the keynotes on the mess. I should have probably grabbed the cream, but whatever. It's too late. 
But it was like, a, it, it has like caramel, I think, and it has like almond something or, yeah. You really do smell like the nut factor in this. You really do smell those like toasty nuts. <laughs> and then you do smell like, um, uh, you smell caramel. As I said, it's not sticky sweet. It's more like just a, a light sweetened caramel with that like, it has Christmas, Christmas dough, or cookie dough is also in the notes, but I don't smell cookie dough. I do smell like a cookie, but not cookie dough. It's like a baked cookie. It's baked. It's not like the cookie dough in the bowl, like before you bake it. It's it's baked. It smells like a baked cookie. It's so sweet and good. I love this one. Okay. I just love that one. Okay, number five. And this is the one I switched with the, the one after number five, so number four. I switched these two. Because I think I like number four better than number five. So that's why I put number four where it is now. So this is number five. This is chocolate lava cake. Um, I do love this candle. Um, I, this, the keynotes are scrumptious chocolate cake, gooey cocoa, santa pad sugar. People are saying this smells like the ice cream sundae from the springtime. I'm so sorry to disagree with you guys. And I, I have to disagree with all the candle like, um, professionals that do this for a living on YouTube, they smell the candles and they say, it's not, honey, it's not. You do get the chocolate syrup. They're not wrong with that. But no, you, this is not just chocolate syrup. I'm sorry, because that candle, the, the ice cream sundae, whatever it was, candle was just chocolate syrup. It really was. It just smelled like chocolate syrup. You got no ice cream, nothing else. This, not only do you get chocolate syrup, you get a chocolate frosting with like a chocolate baked like cake you really do yeah oh god it kind of smells like the the, de the chocolate devil food cake or something Ugh. it smells so good but you do get the chocolate syrup too but i will not say it smells like that candle because in that candle the, the ice cream sundae you just get the chocolate syrup this you get more of a chocolatey cake with frosting and the chocolate syrup. It's just very chocolatey. Okay, that's that. Now number four, and this is the one I switched, and I do like this one better, I do. So it is the ice gingerbread um, hand soap. Now last time I said it didn't have keynotes, it just had ice gingerbread, but it actually does have keynotes. It, I'm so stupid, it's on the side. Homemade gingerbread brown sugar and vanilla abstracts, and that is definitely what you get. I love the packaging. I got three of these, but I'm, did I get four? I think I just picked up another one. Yeah, this is a little bit better than the chocolate lava cake to me. It's just a, a gingerbread frosting cookie that is just like the perfect. It's like, it, it smells just like the, the spiced gingerbread candle. It's so good. In fact, it's even sweeter than that. I love it. So I definitely got multiples of this one. Um, I'm definitely picking up more of this. I thought I picked up another one, but I think I didn't. I think I only have three. I still have the three from the other hole, but I do want to pick up another one of that one. Okay, now number th we're in the top three. You guys can probably guess what's in the top three. This is number three, and you guys are probably thinking, oh, this, the way I was talking about it was probably going to be number one, but this is number three, and number three is a really good spot for it, and it's a high spot, but it is Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. Now, this one, again, is not, I don't think of it as holiday season. I think of it as, like, spring or summer. Like, but but then it does have the bakery note in it. So, but, but I, when I think of blueberries, I think of spring and summer. Just like when you think of bananas, you think of spring and summer. This is the same thing. Now, it's not a, not like a, a fruity blueberry. It does have the bakery note in it. And it's a very sweet blueberry, too. The blueberries are very sweet in this. It does, sm it does not smell, and I wanted to say this in the last video, and I didn't. It doesn't exactly smell like the blueberry crumble hand soap from the spring. The blueberry crumble hand soap is way more bakery than this. Way more bakery. The blueberry pie candle does smell similar to this, but the blueberry pie candle, the blueberries in it is not as sweet as the blueberries in this. So the blueberries are sweeter. The blueberries are less sweet in the blueberry pie candle with the bakery. This is very sweet blueberries with the bakery. So that's the little difference I wanted to say. So it's really not like anything else, really. I love it. I'm definitely wearing this spring going into summer, like transition smell. I just think blueberry pie smells are like the best around that time. I love it. Okay, now number two, the top two. The top, okay, so 
I have only two of this candle. I was gonna get another one, I didn't. The f number one is a candle, I'm just spoil it now. It is a candle, and I did just get another one, so I got three of that one. Well, technically I got five, when you consider like all the other smells that are similar to it, but I got three of that candle this year. This one, I got two of. Now this one is New York Cherry Cheesecake. So, creamy vanilla, juicy red cherries, graham cracker crust. You do not get graham cracker crust. You don't get a cheesecake note. You just get the creamy vanilla and the juicy red cherries. As I said, it's red cherries dipped in vanilla whipped cream. Oh, it smells so good. I have to pick up another one. I have to, you guys. I have to. I almost did on Black Friday. I don't know why I didn't. It is so good. Oh my god. I think on Candle Day I'm going to have to pick up another one of these. The only thing I don't like about Candle Day is that the, they bumped up the prices. Like, it's still a little cheaper than normal, like, the normal, like, candle sales. But, like, it's still basically the same price at this point. So, it's like, why do you keep bumping up? Like, basically, Candle Day is not special anymore. But, yeah, so this is definitely number two. This came out last year. I never got a chance to get it, but they repackaged it and renamed it this year. So, technically, it is new because last year really did not come out, technically, because it was only in test stores. And it was not out nationwide until this year. So this is why it's in my new top 10 favorite Christmas of Bath Body Works. And it's number two. Number one is a smell that they, they make a lot, which is like mint chocolate smells. But this one I think is my favorite mint chocolate smell they've ever made. And this is the chocolate peppermint cream that came out this year. It's new. It is new. It has not been done before. It is similar to the other ones, but it's not exactly the same. Crushed peppermint candies, creamy chocolate, and white sugar. Yeah, it's not exactly the same. This is way more sweeter. Like, it has that chocolate, bakery chocolate note and the chocolate lottery cake. Then it has, like, the peppermint that's in, like, twisted peppermint. And then it has, like, this sweet, sweet, like, whipped cream note or something. I don't know. It's just very sweet. The very sweet, pepperminty, chocolatey smell. Perfect for the holiday season, and it's definitely my number one. And I have three of these so far. And, yeah. I think it's amazing. I think if this is what the if the body care smelled like this, girl, it would have been a wrap. But it doesn't. It doesn't. But I'm so glad the candle does smell like this because oh boy, it's good. And I'm burning the wallflower right now. The wallflower smells a little bit different than the candle on cold. The wallflower smells like it. You did get the chocolate peppermint, but it does smell a little bit like a brownie. Like a chocolate brownie. Like the chocolate peppermint brownie. Wallflower, which I, I had to think twice. I'm like, did I take out the chocolate? Because I got the chocolate peppermint brownie on uh, Wallflower last year. So I, I, but I didn't use it. So I thought maybe, did I take that one out this year? But no, it's the it's the, the, the chocolate, the new one that came out this year, which is called the chocolate peppermint cream. So, it, it, it in the Wallflower, it smells like a brownie. The chocolate note is like a brownie note with the, the mint. The candle... On cold, it's not a brownie note. It's a chocolatey chocolate, like, chocolate note like you get in the chocolate lava cake candle. But, um, again, burning, you never know. It could smell like the brownies. It could smell like burnt brownies. I don't know what it's going to smell like. You know, candles at Bath and Body Works, I do love them, but the some of them are hit and miss. So that's it. That's my top 10 new favorite Christmas smells at Bath and Body Works this year for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um... It's so weird because I remember saying like maybe a couple weeks ago that oh my god I'm gonna take a break I'm never coming back for a couple of months that's it like I'm a and then like I'm rolling out these Bath and Body Works holes and these the top ten favorite and it's just like I guess I just can't fully commit to leaving Bath and Body Works and like not making a video I don't know it's like a hobby I have it's it's a hobby it's a hobby it's obviously not a career because I'm making no money off this. But it's a hobby, and it's a fun hobby, and I enjoy it. I love making videos for you guys, and I love talking about this stuff. Like, this is so... I love talking about this stuff. Like, I wish there was, like, a class I could take in school that was dedicated to Bath and Body Works. I would get... It, I would get such a high grade. It, it would be above A+. Plus. Like, I don't even know if they can even make, like, a an above an A+. Plus. I mean, how could you be above an A+. Plus? I don't know. They, it would be a whole other grade that they would have to create for me because I would get the bombest... The bomb is great in that class. Like, if there was a Bath and Body Works class. Or even a Bath and Body Works major. Imagine. Oh, my God. Anyways. So, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, lipstick is red brown. The top. I don't know if you guys are wondering what the top is. It's very sparkly. Kind of like, like a New Year's Eve. This is actually um, from this L.A. California store. That's in L.A. that I ordered online. And obviously, 
the store is in LA, but they, sh they ship it to me. I live in New York. And I forgot what it's called. I think it's called New Stylish. And I love it. They feel nice. It's very. I do love this sweater. Um, but you, if you don't live in LA, you can only order online. So and they charge an arm and a leg. So I'll never do that again. But you know, all right. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. And if you're wondering what I have on my eyelids from the conspiracy palette, I have on spiraling in the crease with dyed root beer in the crease and dyed cola all over the lid. Um, yeah. So I had three shades on. Today, which is odd because normally from this palette I've been making like looks with eight or nine shades the most each day but today's only three shades the other day I think I did like almost half the palette I was like I couldn't believe it and then I was also dipping into the blood sugar palette this week too a little bit yeah I right. love you guys bye